1962 and a young Nelson Mandela is receiving military training in Algeria and Ethiopia. Mandela's Gun is a docudrama around the Makarov pistol, a gift from an Ethiopian colonel to a former president Nelson Mandela when he took up the armed struggle. To start my military training. The film shows a side of Madiba that's rarely ever portrayed on the big screen. The story documents the travels of a young activist known as the Black Pimpernel, traveling the continent, gaining military training ahead of the founding of Umkondo Esizwe. It started off um, a lot simpler than what the film ended up being, which was really a dig for a gun. So it was more documentary when we began the project, but as we did more research, as we uncovered more information, we realized the story was so much bigger, um, and then the recreation. The story of the reconciliatory Mandela, we know, um, but we don't know this part of this journey, and I think it resonates so much with what is happening today in our society, um, and really, I think, emphasizes the fact that the struggle continues. We African people had to fight our way through our oppression. The film features exclusive testimony from a former CIA agent who reveals the agency's role in Mandela's arrest and imprisonment. At what point throughout history is it justified to take up arms against a tyranny? In order to abolish war, one must go to war. There was a, an atmosphere of, um, of uh, as I say, panic and desperation and, and urgency. Uh, and because they were badly organized and also poorly recruited, I think, overall. There were a lot of um, wallabies and mavericks and buccaneers. Mm -hmm. Getting him, obviously, I mean, this man um, was virtually in hiding because he's, in the past, had death threats and, and uh, I mean, we, 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 we located him and we were able, he was not a very, I mean, he was, he was he, he's elderly and he was, you know, um, sick. I think he was, he, he was frail. He was frail. Um, and certainly, um, I think he just wanted to, to get it off his chest. I don't know. What we did was give him a, a, an opportunity to explain uh, why he did it. And he, to this day, he, he didn't feel any remorse. He felt at that time, given this, that, that context, those circumstances, uh, he was justified in, 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 in getting you know, Nelson Mandela behind bars. It was important to Irvin to cast an all South African acting ensemble, a rare sight in an international film about the late iconic statesman. Portraying the young and radical Mandela is Dumisho Masha. I first took it as a huge honor. It's, it's a privilege. It's, it's a great gift as a South African actor. Never and never again will they say that a South African does not deserve to play either a South African icon or an icon from any other part of the world. My personal checklist when I, I was playing this role as a South African was number one, getting the accent right, just getting the sound. In many ways it was to say, nice try guys, let's show you the real deal now. The film fuses reenacted political scenes with dramatic documentary elements, mirroring the remarkable Pan-African trip Mandela took in 1962. To add authenticity to the story, the cast and crew shot in five African countries as well as the UK. Nandabego Spisi, Johannesburg.